Now this is something I've wanted to test since the Intel SSD 510 series drives came out and I finally got a chance to do it. I replaced on my test bench my Intel P67A GD65 and I have put in a similar top of the line AMD configuration with an 1100T, uh, the same RAM, same video card, and I replaced it with an 890FX board from Gigabyte. This is actually the 890FXA UD5. Now, what's interesting about 890FX boards is that they all have SATA 3 6 gigabit per second, and unlike P67 boards, which have anywhere from two to four, with only two of them running off the Intel chipset, and the other two usually running off a third party chipset, all six of the SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports on an AMD 890FX board are running off of the chipset. So you can run up to six SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drives. But what is the performance of the AMD chipset solution versus the Intel one? So I have attempted to at least give us some idea of what the answer would be. So here on the left, you can see the AMD score and on the right, you can see my saved Intel score with a single drive running at SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. So you can see for reads, the AMD controller doesn't quite hit the same sequential read speeds, whereas everything else is actually fairly similar. So for random performance, the AMD controller is on par, and for sequential reads, it falls behind a little bit, and other than that, it's pretty much right there. So as long as the CPU you choose is a good performer compared to whatever Intel platform would have been equivalent, it looks like if you're running a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drive, such as this one, there's not going to be too much of a disadvantage, other than just this one tiny thing, uh, to running an AMD motherboard based on 890FX. So thanks for checking out this video on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.